Hi, everybody. It's Kathy, and I love to be selling. Come on in, everybody. Say hello. Let me know that you can hear me, and we will get right down about how do I get more sales on eBay. Hands down, day in and day out, that is the big question. I see over and over again in Facebook groups, all over social media is help, help, help. I want to get more sales. So just let me know that you can hear me. Uh, let me know how your weather is today here. I'm in New York City, if you don't know. It is cold <laughs> here in New York. Um, so bundle up, everybody, and stay warm. Uh, but this is what I want to talk about um, is how to get stronger sales on eBay. Um, and a lot of what I share, um, even though this is going to be very eBay specific, um, this is certainly going to work for you selling on other uh, sites too. So if you're selling on Etsy and Poshmark and Amazon, um, this is going to be good information for you too. So come on in and get settled. Let me know how everybody is. Hey, Louise, good to see you. Nice there. Oh, 30. I'm feeling much better now in New York. Thanks, Louise. Hi, yeah, we got the West Coast. Hey, Chris, how are you? So great to see you. Thanks for joining me. Everybody's here. Hey, Carla, how are you? Good, good, good. So we'll get right to it. Um, and actually, I was, I was, you know, visiting different Facebook groups because I like to touch in and help people out. Um, and I actually saw this from a seller um, and somebody that I've seen um, post this question several times. Um, so this is what I wanted to respond. The first thing is um, anytime, you know, you have listings up, um, and you're going, I'm just not getting the sales that I think I should be getting, or I'm hearing other people in my category or my niche um, that are getting strong sales and I'm not. So what on earth is going on? Why aren't my sales strong? The very, 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 very first thing you're going to want to check. Um, and you tell me, because we got a lot of experienced sellers um, watching today. You tell me, if you have listings up, and you find that you're not getting the sales that you think you should be getting, um, regardless of the level of seller that you are, what is the first thing that you check? And I'm gonna give you a second just to think about that. Because there's a couple of things that you do wanna check, but what would you say is absolutely number one thing that you wanna check um, when you see that? When you're seeing that you've got slow sales or an item that you think should be selling that just isn't selling. What what do you want to do on that one? What do you guys what do you guys think? Okay. Hey, how are you? Well, I'm going to tell you, um, and I have a video on YouTube about this. It's actually the first when you land on my channel, and all you have to do is just Google, um, and I'll put a link. I'll put a link in this once I'm done. Um, Kathy Terrell YouTube, so K A T H Y, and then T E R R I L L my name. Uh, YouTube and you should land on my channel. Um, number one thing you want to take a look at um, are solds. I think a lot of times, and this can happen to more experienced sellers too, is perhaps you sold something six months ago or a year ago, and it can even be two months ago, and you got, I'm just going to make something up. So um, perhaps it was a collectible figurine. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of something, a, uh, a Juliet from Romeo and Juliet. So it's a, a Juliet uh, figurine. And typically I've gotten, I've gotten a couple that I've picked up at different thrift shops or consignment shops um, for $50. And all of a sudden, um, you know, I, I, I know this product, I've sold it before and it's not selling. Okay. So, you know, you keep it up for a couple of weeks. You're going, hmm, this thing just isn't moving. Typically, it sells pretty fast. Why isn't it selling? Um, the number one thing you're going to want to do is check solds, okay? And you can use eBay's advanced search feature for that um, to check what the current selling price is. And I do have a YouTube on this. If you're not familiar with how to use advanced search, um, you can go in and take a look at that. It's If you go to my YouTube channel, it's the first pinned video. Okay. And the reason for that, and I find this is happening more and more on eBay. Um, and certainly I think it's true on Etsy. It's on other sites, but on eBay, it's very easy to check the sold prices is um, prices really change. And it's very much like the stock market. Now, if you're in the collectibles category so that you're willing to hang on to an item, you know, for maybe a year, year and a half, two years. And I know experienced collectible sellers that are very comfortable having listing up for two years, three years, because 
they know what the top price is. They are experienced collectible sellers. They are very willing to wait two years, three years to make X amount of money more. If you are a collectible seller, you've got to really think through your business of how long do I want to potentially hang on to my inventory? Am I willing to wait a year, two years? You may be somebody where you're looking more to move it within a year. And if so, you really want to stay vigilant on the solds because the prices, it's just like the stock market. It goes up and it goes down. Um, I actually ran into this. I got these really cool Swedish cheese spreaders. <laughs> uh, they look like little mice. They're so cute. I said, fabulous. And I got a really good price on them. Um, and I checked solds. And there was one that was similar. It was the same manufacturer. And I literally just went a few dollars underneath them. And my sold, I was actually surprised how fast it sold. It sold in like two weeks. I was like, yay. Um, is, and perhaps I could have, you know, if I'd been willing to wait six months or a year, a year and a half, you know, I might have made an extra 10 or $15. I did really well. If I remember correctly, it cost me like $3. It was a cute little set of cheese spreaders. I sold it for like $50, $60 plus shipping. And they went overseas, which I thought was very interesting. Um, so to take $3 and flip it for $50, $60, I'll take it every day of the week. You know what I mean? I'd rather get that, that money right away. It was a nice increase. And all I did was go a little bit underneath the other seller to make the item attractive. So check solds. You might have been the great price or a really good price. And all of a sudden, several people have gone underneath you. And if you just bump your price by a few dollars, you will become much more attractive. Um, price is one factor. It's certainly not the only factor, but it is one factor in search. Okay, so you do want to be competitively priced. Again, if it's a category you know extremely well, you know the seasonality of the solds, you know the up and down, very much like the stock market. So, you know, for instance, perhaps typically January, February, March might be slow for your item, and then it really picks up in June or July. So, number one, if you've got your listings up and you're not getting the solds that you think you should get, you want to check prices okay the next thing you want to do is really make sure that your listing is optimized so you could have it up and you could have a great price and again even if you're an experienced seller um, the phrases or the words or the keywords that shoppers are using can change um, and this can be <laughs> you know and this is the challenge for experienced sellers is oh I know this category oh I know this item you know when you just you know you do your listing you put it up and you are waiting a month maybe two months three months and you're going hmm you know what on earth is going on and there might be a new very searchable keyword for your listing for your category that you're not aware of because you are so experienced, because you do know the category so well, <clears throat> you just haven't stayed on top of necessarily what the current or search words are right now. So great one for that, um, and again, we'll, we'll use the cheese spreaders, is then just search it, just do a general Google search for what the item is and see if it's on other sites. Is it on Amazon? Is it on Etsy? Is it on Walmart or Sears? For some items, like if it's a sports item, I've got one friend who sells a lot of fishing rods is you go on um, Bass Pro Shop. Look at what their keywords are and you use keywords throughout a listing. So they're in the item specifics, they're in description, but very strongly they are in the title. So again, fishing rod, look at your keywords, look at the solds, what keywords are they using because those items sold. And then if you find a similar item, you may not necessarily find the exact item, but see if you can find a similar item on a large e-commerce. I realize that's tougher in collectibles, but even in collectibles, you can look in auction houses um, and oftentimes find them. Look at their keywords. Are they using what, <clears throat> I discovered one the other day for a, a listing of mine. I was like, get out of here. I just hadn't thought of that. And I switched and I used that keyword and the item sold in seven days. I was like, Yahoo. So, and again, you can do this quickly. Okay. This doesn't need to take 60 minutes is I, I pull up the item or I pull up the category. I find another site 
um, look at their keywords, what are they using, look at my keywords, um, and see how I'm ranking, because you can get some great ideas this way, okay? So those are my tips for you, is check your souls. Look at the prices. Also look at the active listings. If everybody is 5 to $10 less than you, unless yours is in a very different condition, so if everything is used and yours is new, obviously you can go higher in your price. But the solds do matter, okay? You definitely want to check prices. Think stock market. Things go up and down. Then you want to make sure you're using really great, relevant keywords. You can discover that by checking solds. You can search solds, by the way, on Poshmark. Poshmark has a sold function. You can check your solds on eBay. Look at the listings that sold. Look at their keywords. Look at your keywords. And that way, without a good keyword in your listing, in your title, what happens is the search functions, um, Google, Yahoo, Bing, eBay, they literally don't know how to uh, rank your item because they don't know what it is. It's not like it's a person. It's not like it's Louise or Chris or Kathy and I'm sitting there going, oh, that's a vase, that's a shirt, that's a football, that's a tennis racket, <laughs> right? This is all being done um, by what is called artificial intelligence and machine learning. This is all algorithms within search, within the different platforms that are figuring out what the different listings are. One of the things that search uses is keywords. So if I am missing a really important keyword, if I'm missing a keyword that buyers are using to search for the item, I'm losing search function and I'm losing getting my items seen by shoppers and I am losing getting sales. That's why keywords are so, so, so important, okay?